going on, guys? Mike here from the Battle Axe, the strongman gym in Miami. And yeah, guess what? Novice fucking champion, baby. That's my uh, that's my Praetorian helmet. I got it at the Florida Classic. Boom! Look at that Tampa Bay Classic strongman novice champion. Uh, what a fucking great event, man! It was really tough. And uh, I really can't complain. Me and my uh, one of my training partners, yes, went out there and just fucking dominated souls. And I came out on top out of 15 competitors. It was tough. I met a lot of good people. Um, a lot of strong dudes, man. A lot of strong dudes. Uh, obviously, this is my first competition, uh, real competition. You know, anything local for a local gym doesn't really count. Uh, and to have put all that work in and to actually win actually feels awesome. Uh, Why well, I keep saying actually so many times, whatever. Uh, I did shave my beard, so I lost a lot of my strength. I can barely do push-ups. I'm peeing, sitting down currently. Uh, I'm very scared of the dark now. Um, I wear all sorts of bright colors now, and I just, you know, I like to talk about my emotions, eat ice cream at night. And so until my beard goes back for uh, August 31st, which is another competition I have in first, uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, I got to look really handsome with my dimples from now on and look at... Uh, I keep looking at the wrong side of the camera. Anyway, so I uh, just wanted to say thank you for uh, the Roman and Roman uh, Tampa Bay Classic to Donnie and all those guys up there and the support. I met a lot of great people. Um, and let's get on with it. So I just competed on Saturday, and this is a quick video, obviously, saying thank you to everybody and just, you know, getting my bearings together. But also, what am I doing the week after? Now, I leave to uh, Europe. Move, I just moved the bucket. It's weird. I leave to Europe in a couple weeks. Uh, probably next, sorry, sorry, a week and a half, and uh, I need to get working. Uh, I will go for 12 days. Obviously, you'll try to find some sort of like weird gym over there with a crazy bunch of uh, angry Russians or whatever. Um, but realistically, I won't find any apparatus, so I need to try and stay as as fit as possible. So obviously, I just competed Saturday, um, and if you think about it, competition totals four events. It was three minutes and 57 seconds of total activity. So it's not much for four, three, four months of training, but it does exhaust your body. Uh, so this week I've been lifting. I actually did lift. I lifted last night. Uh, but things that I've been actually really focused on, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can. Yeah, you can. Totally can. Uh, that's exactly what, what I'm going to be focused on. Just three of the stuff that I'm going to be focusing on. Obviously a lot of stuff, but uh, box squats, bands, and abs. And what I mean by this stuff is simple. Um, by the box squats, I, my hip's still pretty hurting from last time, and um, I'm going to go ahead and focus on just uh, right below parallel box squats to let my hips recuperate, get my posterior chain strong again, keep athletic, still work my legs and my power and my strength, but not necessarily a full depth squat as my next competition doesn't require it, not because I don't believe in squats, but my low back and my hip are still pretty strained, and this kind of helps me out a little bit, um, helps build my glutes back up, etc., and Still working on that squat form, and I, I'm a big believer in the Louis Simon box squat method, conjugate method. Uh, bands, uh, bands to make a dance. Uh, obviously, all sorts of rehab stuff, pull aparts, pull downs, triceps. Uh, almost relax on the dumbbells and barbell movements for a little bit. Keep a lot of the accessory stuff active, high volume, and a lot of band work to help the rehab. And of course, abs and mobility, which I suck at this, obviously, and uh, although I think I lift heavy, so-so, doesn't mean I have strong abs, uh, and I, I really suck at mobility, and this has been a big issue with my injury and my low back, so I'm focusing on these as much as possible. This next event that I'm coming up has a lot of yoke carries, farmer's carries, long kind of endurance uh, stuff that's going to be torture and, and, and just tough on the body, so just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, and you guys can look at my trophy again. Look at that shit. Boom! Love it. Love it. It's huge. It's too big for my head. That's, can I say that's what she said? That's what he said. Wow. Ooh. Anyway, um, so yeah, just a quick, uh, quick follow-up. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I haven't made videos in forever, but I'm going to try and focus on that. Actually hanging out with Elliot, and that's one thing that he uh, gave me a pow-pow for is uh, start doing more videos, and that's absolutely right. Got to get my handsome mug back out there, get these dimples flaring. So uh, thank you for everybody who supported me on the competition. Uh, there is a giant firefly 
in this gym, it's going to eat my face. If I had a beard, I can scare it off, but not anymore. I look 12. Uh, so, yeah, uh, thank you, everybody, for supporting me. Uh, first place out of 15 means a lot to me. Come back with that. Uh, kind of just um, leading by example and proving that hard work does pay off and amongst other things. So thank you, and I hope that kind of stuff helps anybody who's just competed to stay active. Uh, I believe in mobility, movement, movement, movement. Uh, not necessarily taking too much time off unless you have major injuries and get back into it. And, you know, just make sure you take care of those major areas like your low back and for strongmen, definitely biceps, etc. So uh, cheers. Uh, keep supporting your local strongmen. They're all over the place. And uh, this is Mike from The Battle Axe, The Strongman Gym in Miami. That's a capital T-H-E-E because -E, I love making stuff about me. And cheers. <laughs>